we had all circled that quarterfinal chanda between Coco Goff and Iga Swiatek. Plot twist. It's Yelena Ostapenko getting into this one. Uh, they played earlier this year in Australia. It was Ostapenko that won that in straight sets. How do they match up? You know, I think Ostapenko is just always a challenging player to play against because she hits the ball so big. You never know what's going to come off of her racket. I think for golf, she's got to use her weapons, and that's what she's been doing so beautifully all tournament long. The serve is going to be critical. Ostapenko has been looking to step in and hit winners off both first and second serves, but golf has a big enough serve that she can keep Ostapenko guessing a little bit. She can keep her off balance. She can get some free points off of that shot. She's got to be willing golf to also step in from the ground. She's been doing that, but also get forward. That was one of the things that allowed golf to turn that match around against Wozniacki, um, against the court coverage. A little bit different court coverage against Ostapenko, but the pace and firepower, that's going to require golf to match her with some equal force. So I think those will be the key areas. And then make it a foot race. I yeah. mean, golf is yeah. so good in that department. My sources tell me uh, the golf camp was very eager to see that this match happen in the day. So we'll see if that physicality and, and the heat and the sun plays a role in this match. This, this was your pick a match, right? About 50-50? Is that what you were saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did, did I get that ratio right? To 55%, I think is what I said, right? Be Between 4.5 and 5.5. 5. 5. 5. <laughs> that's what you said, Paul. I think that was my yeah, alter but you, uh, <laughs> but, you, but you like, Sarah, you, you like Coco. I, Coco's I do in these conditions. And look, yeah. we talk about the heat and stuff in terms of stamina. But what I talk about with the heat as a former coach and player is what what else does that mean what it means is the ball is going to be flying really quickly and for someone like Ostapenko that hits the ball that big it's actually more challenging to control it so there's the stamina and there's the physicality of the heat and the humidity but also the conditions of what happens to the tennis ball off the racket I think both of those things favor Coco Goff and uh, but but what happens is with a power player if they do find their range in these conditions it is tough to defend Coco does have a win against Ostapenko. It happened for her first title in Linz when she was a 15-year-old. It was in the final. That's a pretty pretty big match for her as well. Late night in New York. Cannot wait for this one. Ben Shelton, Francis Tiafo meeting for the first time. Coco Goff was saying that the trash talk has been going on for two weeks now in the locker room, talking about who wears the sleeveless shirt better between these two. Uh, Paul, what, what are your thoughts on this match? What's going to make the difference? Well, I, I got to give the edge uh, to Francis, right? Because he's been there. He's done that before. Now, the challenge is also the mental part of it is he's supposed to win. He's the older guy playing a younger peer that's following in his footsteps. So there's more pressure on Francis. And look, we see the joy in Ben Shelton's eyes when he plays. He loves the big stage. We're going to see that again tonight. But guess who else loves the big yeah. stage? Francis Tiafo. It's going to be electric out there. If Ben serves well, he's got a real good chance. If he does doesn't serve well, I think it's going to be a lot of hard work because I think Francis is a little more sound from the back of the court at this stage of both of their careers. But for me, I'm going to pull up in my lazy boy recliner, Chanda. I'm going to have my popcorn, and you and I are going to be chatting about it. So you can't go to bed early. No, <laughs> definitely can't go to bed early. Another it's the U.S. Open. We don't go to bed early. I mean, it's, by the way, Chanda, Francis Tiafo has won 19 straight matches against lefties. How is that going to factor into this one? No, I think that is definitely an advantage, one that should make Tiafo feel just a little more comfortable. I mean, that's always a tricky part for right-handers. They're not used to seeing spin coming from that direction. It's a different kind of spin. The matchups, you know, the patterns can have to change slightly. But I think for Francis Tiafo, he doesn't have to really adjust his game a lot. I think he's going to look to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the serving department. That's been a weapon in his game. He's also been a little more aggressive in his return position in some of these matches and I think he may have some opportunities in this one as well maybe just to put a little more pressure on Shelton he may not always you know get those points but it's the cumulative pressure that you want to have your more inexperienced opponent you know feel and I also think the athleticism of Tiafo. I mean these both these guys move incredibly well but it will put a little more pressure on the Shelton volleys with Tiafo and how well he can move around the court so maybe Francis can get a few openings in, in those departments Talk about Ben Shelton being a college player. He's like the college kid. He, he shows up for the tests. I mean, he's had such a strange year where he reaches the second week in Australia and he's become this new star and then really quiet for about eight months. And now, boom, he's back in uh, <laughs> week two of a major. He clearly likes this ambiance, this atmosphere. And I think, too, I mean, they have a social relationship. We hear this all the time. We're, we're friends off the court and then we battle. But it's not that easy. And in a weird way, I think the younger player has more of an advantage 
it sublimating that friendship and actually playing playing a competitive match. Atmosphere is going to be fire. Yeah. I mean, Big Foe says this crowd has been honey deuced out.